गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लेक्चर नंबर वन ऑफ मॉड्यूल वन ऑफ द कोर्स विजन फॉर ह्यूमन सोसाइटी सो बेसिकली आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अ ओवरव्यू अबाउट द कोर्स कोर्स कॉन्टेंट्स कोर्स मैथडोलॉजी ऑफ दिस कोर्स सो इन दिस लेक्चर यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट द कॉन्टेंट्स ऑफ द कोर्स द मैथडोलॉजी विच वी आर यूजिंग इन दिस कोर्स and the methodologies along with the reference material so in this lecture i will give you a detailed overview <coughs> about what we are going to study in this course in this whole course so let's start with the introduction of this course <coughs> so every one of us wants a fulfilling life so fulfilling life as an individual and every one of us also desires a harmonious society where everyone can expect a fulfilling life can live a fulfilling life so keeping this fulfilling life in the center we are going to describe this whole course so what do you mean by fulfilling life fulfilling life means i am having feeling of happiness and prosperity in me all the time i am having good health i have good relations with everyone connected to me and i am also able to ensure coexistence with nature and human being and fulfilling life also includes a conducive social structures and systems which are actually helpful for me to live a fulfilling life so explore in yourself investigate in yourself whether you want this kind of life or not if ask if i ask this question to myself i immediately get a natural answer that yes i naturally want this kind of life where i am having a feeling of happiness prosperity in me i am having good health good relations i am also able to ensure coexistence with nature and human being etc so you can investigate in yourself you can ask yourself whether this kind of life is naturally acceptable to you or not so take a pause for 2 minutes stop the screen and explore within yourself whether this fulfilling life is naturally acceptable to you or not then we will study outline of this course so in this course we are going to study what is human goal human goal for what human goal for a fulfilling life so keeping fulfilling life at the center we are going to discuss what would be human goal so that i can achieve that fulfilling life and we will also see where do we want to be as a society and social systems so in other words the course will give you clarity about human society and human order then in next step we are going to study what are the systems dimensions required for realizing the human goal so in this course next we will study the dimensions systems which are actually required for realizing the human goal we would study what is essential what needs to be done in the education system what needs to be done in the production system in justice system etc so all this detail we will study in step number 2 then in step number 3 we would also study what part of this present system is working and what is not we will identify it by the way of critical appraisal of the present sister's state in the context of the desired human goal so there could be an analysis of the present situation through which we can identify the areas which are functioning well and areas that need to be worked upon then we would study what would be the steps for ensuring harmony in the parts that are not working harmoniously it means 
the course describes essential steps required to ensure harmony so it is very important uh, part of this course where we would find out the steps actually required for transition from the present state to desirable state of the society then we will also study some meaningful effort made in this direction so it is necessary to keep in mind that society and societal order are collective achievements and collective efforts is required for them so many collective efforts have been done to ensure a fulfilling life in the society so we would study all these some of uh, some of those uh, efforts in this course so basically the whole course is based on this five key concepts the whole course is actually detailing about these five key points okay so we can say that the course is primarily divided into two category first in the context of society and the other in the context of social system the first part of the course includes steps in which we discuss the ways to reach the point where we want to be as a society and in the second part we will discuss steps in the context of the societal system and societal order so we can say that we are going to study society and social systems in detail in this course so when i say society society means where people living together with a common goal and when i am saying system it means the structure of the system the process methods etc that are adopted for the fulfillment of collective social goals and it is also important to note that society and social systems are interconnected so you will find out that during the course these two words are used interchangeably so we can say there are two part of the course one part is going to talk about human human relationship and another part is going to talk about social system and social order so in part 1 we will detail the human human relationship we will detail out the society what will be the basis of human conduct as an individual what will be the way of fulfilling relations with everyone in complementarity so in this process we will also discuss the conduct and behavior which are identified as human conduct and human behavior and we can say that the absence of these will be identified as inhuman conduct and inhuman behavior and the discussion also elaborates the structure of our culture and civilization being lived collectively our celebrations rituals social customs are rightly embedded in our collective living or not we will also study our festival celebration rituals their importance that shows our collective behavior collective conduct to the kind of ecosystem we are formulate formulating to live collectively as a culture and society societal step is also to be discussed at this at the length in this course so these two parts point number 1 and part uh, point number 2 we are going to discuss detail in detail in this course then we will also discuss participation of individual in the larger order because as an individual i am participating in the society knowingly or unknowingly so in this course we are going to discuss in detail what would be the participation of individual in the larger order then we would also discuss the goal constitution policy etc which are required for living then the various system or dimension of social order we will study these dimensions in detail like dimension of education dimension of health dimension of production etc then we will also see the scope of societal order in this course so summing up the above the course would talk about number 1 what will be the nature of my conduct and behavior as an individual 
नंबर टू वॉट विल बी द नेचर ऑफ अवर कंडक्ट एंड बिहेवियर वाई लिविंग कलेक्टिवली सो वॉट आई एम सेंग इज अ सोसाइटल सिस्टम कैन बी ऑब्जर्व एंड एनालाइज फ्रॉम एन इंडिविजुअल पॉइंट व्यू एंड फ्रॉम द कलेक्टिव पॉइंट व्यू फ्रॉम द पॉइंट व्यू ऑफ द सोसाइटल ऑर्डर फ्रॉम एन इंडिविजुअल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी इन्वेस्टिगेट एंड एनालाइज आर पार्टिसिपेटरी रोल एज एन इंडिविजुअल सो इन दिस कोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू इन्वेस्टिगेट एंड एनालाइज आर पार्टिसिपेटरी रोल वॉट वुल बी माई पार्टिसिपेशन एज एन इंडिविजुअल द प्रजेंट कोर्स कोर्स ऑल्सो ओपन अप द इशूज लाइक पॉलिसी सिस्टम कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड ट्राइज टू एनविसाइज इट्स स्ट्रक्चर एंड एक्सटेंशन वी विल ऑल्सो इलेबोरेटली डिस्कस इन द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ डायमेंशन ऑफ एजुकेशन डायमेंशन ऑफ हेल्थ डायमेंशन ऑफ प्रोडक्शन वॉट विड वुड बी द रोल ऑफ दिस डायमेंशन टू एंश्योर अ फुलफिलिंग लाइफ दैट वी विल स्टडी इन दिस कोर्स and we will also study what to do what not to do as a part of the whole system so subsequently as a part of the whole system what will be the structure of the constitution policy we are going to describe in detail in this course so basically uh, we are going to talk from two point of view first from the point of view of individual second from point of view of the societal order so all uh, both these two point of view we will describe in detail in this course with this we can see course objectives so course objectives are detailed as uh, below this course will help the students to understand the importance and types of relationships with expression so when i am going to live in a society the relations recognition of relationship and my expression in behavior plays a very important role so this course would help you to understand the importance and types of relationship and we would also study the expression of my behavior in this course then this course will develop the competence to think about the conceptual framework of undivided society it is very important if you go through this course seriously you understand this course with the exploration with investigation you will be able to visualize a conceptual framework of undivided society so in this course you are going to get a framework for undivided society as well as universal human order this course will also help the students to develop the exposure for the transition from the current state to undivided society so as i told you earlier we are going to study the transitory steps which are required to move towards undivided society so with this course you will be able to do all these things number 1 you would be able to recognize importance of relationships importance of expressions you would be able to visualize a conceptual framework and also you would be able to find out the transitory steps which are required to move towards undivided society so take a pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself both these objectives are useful for you or not if i get these objectives if i understand these objectives after the course will it be able to ensure my fulfilling life so for a fulfilling life all these things are required for a fulfilling life i should know about the importance of relationship i should be aware of my expressions while communicating with human being while interacting with human being for a fulfilling life i should be able to visualize a conceptual framework of undivided society as well as universal human order because knowingly or unknowingly i am participating with everyone similarly this is also important that i should know the steps which are required to move towards undivided society so ask yourself take a pause and investigate in yourself whether it would be useful for you or not
then we can talk about course methodology so course methodology is similar that we are using from uhv1 usv2 and uhv3 so all the course would be put in the form of proposal and you have to verify it whether it is naturally acceptable to you or not so you have to self explore it you will have to self investigate it whether the given proposal are enough for a fulfilling life or not so the methodology of this course is explorational and thus universally adoptable similarly because it is universal based on natural acceptance so it is free from any do's and don'ts so all these things you would have studied during hv2 hv3 in detail so in sum up whatever i would put the proposal don't accept it as it is explore it verify it analyze it investigate it whether the given proposals would be enough for everyone to live a fulfilling life whether the given proposals would help us to ensure a conducive social structure to conduce to ensure a conducive social systems that would help us in a full in living a fulfilling life this we have to explore continuously this we have to investigate com, uh, continuously so now we can discuss the outline of this course so there are five module in the whole course in module 1 we are going to introduce the course in module 2 we will find out detailing of relationship and its fulfillment in module 3 we will see the expansion of justice from world fam, uh, world from family to world family order then in module 4 we are going to find out the program for ensuring undivided society and universal order then in module 5 we will also study some efforts make in the past and we will also see human tradition in details so all these five modules we are going to study in this course let's take a brief review module wise so module 1 actually we would talk about basic aspirations of human being and program for its fulfillment though we are studying it from uhv 1 uhv 2 uhv 3 but in this course we will see our basic aspiration from the point view point of view of society from the point of view of social structures so we will we will study basic aspirations of human being then we will study the need of relationship need for undivided society need for universal human order and we would also study in detail about comprehensive human goal and we will critically evaluate the current state of the society so module co module 1 covers these points then in module 2 we will study human human relationship and its fulfillment in detail because when we are uh, talking about society when we are going to visualize a uh, social structure in completeness then relationship plays very important role so this module is primarily focused on recognition of human human relationship established values in relationship expressed values in relationships their interconnectedness all this we are going to study in this module so in this module we will see feeling of relationship we will try to recognize feeling of relationship which are required for a fulfilling life then we will talk about established values and expressed values so in which we two you which we three you have studied about established values but in this course we will also study expressed values it means when i am interacting with anyone when i am communicating with anyone what would be the expressed values so with established value we will also study the expressed values in this course then we are going to talk about interrelatedness of feelings and their fulfillment what is the role of feelings keeping in interrelatedness in context then we will also study types of relationship 
how many types of relationships are required for a fulfilling life that we will study in detail then we will try to mutually evaluate feelings in our relationships then we will find out the meaning of justice in relationship as you would have studied in which we too justice is required in family and is and it expands from family to world family order so for a harmonious society to visualize a harmonious society justice is very important so we will study in detail in this course then we will also talk about civilization and human conduct so this module 2 is very important because whatever is required in terms of feeling in terms of expression in terms of justice civilization culture all we are going to study in this module so with this module 2 in module 3 we would study justice from family to world family order so just to ensure justice is not enough only at the level of family for undivided society for universal human order its expansion is also required so in this module we would study expansion of justice from world family to world family order so we are going to study undivided society as continuity and expense of justice in behavior this we are going to study in detail then we will also study continuity of culture and civilization because putting effort in one generation is not enough to ensure a fulfilling life in continuity the efforts are required generation by generations so we would study this in this step universal you were universal order on the basis of undivided society then we would study conceptual framework for universal human order and universal human order as continuity and expense of order in living from family order to world family order then definitely we are going to talk about a conceptual framework required for universal human order so this these points we are going to cover in module number 3 with this we can briefly review module number 4 so basically in module number 4 module 4 we are going to talk about programs which are required for ensuring undivided society and universal human order so in this module we are going to study various dimensions where works is required to be done to ensure a fulfilling life so we are going to study dimension of education and sanskar we are going to study dimension of health then we would study dimension of justice in detail then dimension of production and service dimension of exchange and distribution dimension of right utilization preservation and administrative services so all these dimensions are required to ensure conducive social structures that would help us in living a fulfilling life so in this module basically we are going to talk about all these dimensions in detail so we would see what is required in education system what is required in health system what is required in justice system production system etc so that i may live a fulfilling life in continuity so this module is basically discuss about programs for ensuring undivided society and universal human order then with this we can discuss about module number 5 where we are going to talk about human tradition in detail so in this module we will discuss the scope and steps of universal human order then we will talk about human tradition then we will talk about steps for transition from the current state so we will critically evaluate the present state of the society and with this we will also talk about talk about the steps required for the transition from the current state then we will also talk about possibility of participation at the level of individual especially at the level of students what we can do in this direction as a student we will also see in this module 
then we will see the efforts which are being made in this direction so some of those efforts we will study in this course and we will see up to what level they are able to achieve this harmonious society and lastly we will sum up the whole course so these points we are going to cover in module number 5 so reference materials <coughs> these are the books which are mentioned in this form of list you can refer these material this material would help you to study the course in detail to understand the course in detail so we are going to study a foundation course in human values and professional ethics this book we are going to refer then avartanchil arthashastra by a nagraj then economy of permanence energy and equity by ivan illich science and humanism by r r gaur and p l dhar then we would also study hind swaraj so all these materials are available all these books are available online and offline you can go through and these books will help you to understand the course in better manner so that's all from my side hope i am able to make you understand the importance of this course the methodology of this course the content of this course and i am waiting for you to go through these modules with seriousness with dedication and in coming lecture we will fold module wise and unit wise details in this course Thank you very much